G'day, fellas, and welcome. We are here. Outback Octagon 2 is ready to rumble! We are live on Twitch at the moment, and we are jumping into Blue Mountains. I tell you what, I'm incredibly excited for this game because take a look at this right here. We got some beautiful spawns coming in. In particular, this one over here on the east side right now. You saw him last week get whipped. He got smacked. He got turned around and he had to sit down first. But I've got my suspicions that today he will rise from the ashes as on the east side of the corner in the color yellow on the French, which by the way, we got four Frenches, four French, four French players for you today. It's Beastie. To his south, in the color green. On the French also, Lucifron7. To his south, in the pink, playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. State. To his west, in the color orange. Oh God, oh God, the boar, the boar, the boar. <laughs> Kalp is fighting against this boar. The Khan though, the Khan, the Khan on three health right now. He's trying his best to get the town center up. You can see two of the villagers. The Khan's gonna go down. Sheep probably gonna turn over. Boar immediately coming out. This is bad right now for Kalp. He is doing his best to try and keep himself alive. Manages to leash back towards that, that scout early on and finds himself a little bit of a safe haven over here. Now, keep in mind that we've got Sass, who is spawned just to his north, playing on the French as well in the color red, who is causing all of this havoc. The villagers evacuate away from the town center, but fortunately, it looks like he's going to be able to find a way through this. The town center will come up and cap a happy camper as he keeps all the villagers alive, and surely he will see a respawning, a very quickly respawning Khan in the north of the map. On the color blue, playing as the Mongols. Avery. To his east. On the color purple, playing as the Malians. Divine. And our final player, rounding out the eight. In the color teal. Playing as the French. Louis MT. Now let's talk about how one of our players has gone from the worst spawn last week to what might be the best FFA spawn you could ever hope for. Why is this such a good FFA spawn? I'm about to break it down for you. Beastie Cutie currently sits on the east side of the map. In the corner of the map, he's got his back against both of the walls. Two walls. He's going to be able to push off this. Think about it when you jump into a swimming pool and you try swimming along and you're like, man, this sucks. And then you get up against the wall and you push off. That's exactly what Beastie's going to be doing right here. He's going to be pushing off that wall. He's going to be doing so in a really good position because his nearest neighbors, Lucifron to the south, has got an immediate neighbor being state. And these guys are close. These guys are really close. And to the north, he's got Louis MT and Divine. My prediction, this game, is that these two sets of players will be locked in fierce battle against each other. Meanwhile, on the east side of the map, the beast remains untouched. Now, whether this actually happens or not, we'll have to wait and see. But I tell you what, he's got himself a really good spot over here. I, you know, I, I don't want to jinx this. I don't want to jinx this, but I, I will say now, there is always the risk that something goes wrong. And if we... <laughs> I, <laughs> poor guy, I'm, I'm not going to say any more than that. That that'll, We'll do it on that. that. That's enough. You know what I'm thinking. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to risk it. Anyway, let's talk about what we've got. We've got four French players this game. A civilization that is quickly taking over free-for-alls, the French. A civilization that allows you to just get control in that mid-game, build up those knight numbers, and overtake the enemy with your superior knight advantage, that extra mobility that you've got. The French allows you to have that early access to biology, and not just biology, but rather the royal bloodlines as well, which gives you that extra additional health on top of it. But now, looks like Kalp going to be rematching this boar. He had a he had a bit of a run in earlier on. It looks like the Khan will manage to get away with six health on it. I don't think he lost any villagers either, so he's going to be a real happy camper down here. He's got all the deer, got the boar as well. So, with the four French players on the map, one person sits in an advantageous spot, and that's State. Now, the reason why that's a good spot is because he's got access to the camel. And the camel's going to be able to debuff the damage from all of those knights that are inevitably going to start running around this map. So as long as he stays in the game, he gives himself a really good shot of, of lasting uh, quite well at the end. 
The problem that he's going to have is that there are Mongol players as well. And normally what these Mongol players are looking to do is try and get up to that castle edge quickly, get those lances out on the field and look for victims. And I suspect in this case that uh, we may have players that look to try and stay a little bit uh, a little bit quiet early on. I know Sass is probably a bit too far away from Cal, but we already have the Deer Stones coming through. Now let's talk a little bit about this map. For anybody unfamiliar with this map, this is Blue Mountains. Notable for the very clear blue biome that we are using, but also because this map has got a lot of sacred sites. Now, last game, I think we had seven sacred sites, even though I could only count uh, six of them. So there's one, two, there's the third, fourth one over in Beastie's base, uh, fifth one down here, sixth one, where are you? I'm sure you're out there. Oh, there we go. We got, oh, oh, baby, a double, six and seven inside the base of Averly. So he's going to be really happy with these double sacred sites right next to him. Guaranteed gold throughout the, the, this game. And also a really good map for the Delhi Sultanate, if, if it ever happens. But uh, I don't... Have we even had the Delhi Sultanate this... Oh, actually, Beastie got the Delhi Sultanate last... Last uh, last week. It, it, it didn't go particularly well. I mean, when you get double Barbican, there's not not much you can really really do. It doesn't matter what sieve you get. Anyway, uh, let's, che let's check in with the Beast, though. The age up's coming through, going for the School of Cavalry. Now, one thing to note is there is no neutral uh, trading post on this map. So when it comes to gold, all the only gold you've got access to are the gold veins out on the map. Now, in the event that you're uh, taking out an enemy and they've got a market, you're going to be able to utilize that market to trade to it. Um, but you're not able to trade with somebody who's alive. That's part of the rules. So if someone's alive, you can't trade with them. But if they've died and they've still got their market, you can trade to that. Age up's coming through, though. It's going to be Louie up in the north side of the map, who's up very quickly and immediately moves in towards a knight. State aging up as well. Probably going to be moving into the eco wing. No, he's going into the culture wing. Could be a fast castle coming out from state. Something that we've seen popularized by sort of. He's done really well with this strategy. All the age ups coming through. Cap going to be looking at age up as well. Finds it with the deer stones. And now Sass going to be looking for that age up himself. Second TC, not really in sight at the moment. I, I'm curious to see what he looks for here, whether he goes, I'm assuming he'll go into the military wing and look to defend with camels and then go into more TCs. Interesting decision here up against the French, because keep in mind, he's playing against a French that's very, very close to him. We've got a lot of players quite close to each other here over on this east side of the map. So the first of the Knights comes out. He's looking to try and cause some damage here. Divine going to be struggling though on the Marlians early on. He's found plenty of sheep, as you would expect on a, on a map like this. Lots and lots of sheep. Barracks going to be coming out for state, though. I suspect he's going to be looking for that castle age shortly. Averly reaches the feudal age as well. Deer stones for him. Of course, neither of these players are going to be moving into that trade-oriented strategy. Outpost does get cancelled. Manages to force that one away for now. Does manage to throw down a secondary outpost, though. And plenty more villagers are going to be coming out. Now, remember, there is a knight on the, on the, on the prowl over on the south side of the base. Let's ride back in. Over on that north side. And you can see that the beer mine's actually going to be going down. Divine going to be throwing down a barracks looking to defend up towards the north side. Now keep in mind, this entire time, beastie. 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 Just doing beastie things. Second town center coming up for him. Outpost does come up. But it's a classic case of, well, I've got an outpost. You've got an outpost. We've all got an outpost and nobody's got wood. And that's exactly the case right here. Now, keep in mind, he's going to need to keep this scout spotting out on this back line. That's exactly what he will do. When it comes to additional wood lines, he could look to come out, extend his reach over towards these positions. But if he does that, then it's going to mean that the he, he's going to be exposed uh, to those knights. So something to really remain cognizant of. Single horseman and a scout inside for now. Looks like he lost a single vill. Donzo. Did come out, but it looks like the, the two knights as well as the scout here will find the pit mine kill. Age up did come through. So everybody now reaching the feudal age. And the second town center going to get thrown down from Sass. So looking to mimic Beastie over on the east side. Sass going to be throwing down that TC. And I think the question is going to be, what does Cap look to do? Because Cap can play aggressively here. He can look to push upon his enemy, really try and take them out in the feudal age. Or he can look to go castle, secure up some relics maybe. And then potentially look to attack with a whole bunch of lances, but we can see the Donzo numbers are starting to build. Look at the second town center from Louis. Louis so aggressive with this second town center, just forcing it on his enemy. Divine thinking about trying to castle here, but really struggling. And now going to be looking to force back some of these villagers. Let's see if he's able to find anything. There's, the night numbers are pretty high here. And everything's staying pretty quiet now over on this northern front. Averly, two town centers. No second town center just through just yet for Kalp. Age up going to be coming through shortly, though. Back over towards that east side. Plenty of attacks coming in. Spears moving towards those royal knights. 
And State, nowhere near the age up just yet. Has he already clicked up? No, he hasn't. So State really struggling early on here against this aggression from Lucifer. But remember, the longer this fight happens, the longer somebody booms. Over on this east corner, he is putting himself in a really solid spot in this game. Three town centers. He is absolutely just... He's having, a, he's having a beautiful game right now, that beast. All right. Well, let's let's check in over on the south side. See what Cap's up to. Definitely going to be looking at, to drop down that castle age any second. Expect to see it. It's going to be the step out. There it is. So step out going to get thrown down. And Beastie booming like a madman. I don't think he's even been attacked yet at this point in the game. We might, we might ride on board with him just so that we don't get all those attack messages. There we go. Riding, riding on board with Beastie here. But the numbers looking pretty good so far throughout this game. State going to be able to push these knights off. The villagers getting into the battle as well. Really smart move here from Lucifer to also get the villagers in. Remember that the villagers, they've got plenty of health on them. Okay, 50 health, but they don't take any bonus damage against these spearmen. Spearmen do an extra 20 damage against Cav. The horsemen do extra damage against the range units. And look at this. Big attacks coming through. Knights going to be able to clean up these spears, I suspect. He's trying to do his best to keep the outpost alive. And just moves in a couple of knights. Really, really well played here. Town center on this north side. Cap, going to be the first one up to the castle age. Step it out. Immediately moving into position. Where does he go with it, though? Just going to be putting it on the back side. So these vills don't run towards that town center. There we go. And already state investing a lot of resources early on. Now, keep in mind, he doesn't have that second town center down just yet. Over on the east side of the map. It looks like Beastie's just gone for three TCs. Probably going to be moving to Castle Age next. Single Knight coming out together with a Scout. He's just looking to try and spot out where the enemy's movement are. Sass going to be moving into second town centers. Or rather, second stable. 3 TC now for Averly. Averly booming like a madman towards that northern position. Interesting that he didn't opt for a quick castle. Now, where are the relics on this map? Let's take a look. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are just the ones I can see. I might be blind. I am known to be blind. Royal Institute coming down here for Louis. Louis playing this really well. I'm, I'm impressed to see that Louis went for 2TC. And Divine's just playing on the defensive now. Donzo numbers are increasing. But Divine's position is a little bit... Uh, how do you say? Not, not the strongest. Not the strongest position. Lance is now starting to come out as well here for Cap. Really. Looking really... Really good. Any sacred sites for him to take? Doesn't seem like it. Men at Arms going to be moving out. He, he could just be looking to take it right now to Sass. He could say, hey, Sass, that's it. I've had it with you. I've had it with you, mate. I'm going to deal with you the good old-fashioned way. And Lucifron still yet to really break out. I mean, Lucifron on one town center. Not aging up. Has to drop down the blacksmith here. Has gone into siege engineering. So could be looking to challenge this position. But remember, the longer that this goes on, the longer this fight happens, the worse it gets for Lucifron. Because he's immediately next to Beastie. And that's who is starting to move out on the map. Of course, Beastie, the kind of guy that uh, you're happy to be neighbors with until he starts attacking you. And then you got a problem. Now starts coming in. Lucifron having a bit of a tough game this one, it seems. A lot of aggression up towards the north side. Apologies for not showing it right now. Big attacks coming through. Louis going to be losing the first town center. Averly reaches the castle age. He's having an absolute cracker of a game up towards the north side. Big walls coming in from Beastie. Just going to be looking for a nice palisade along the edge of the map. Village is going to get chased away. Town center will be going down. Louis also aging up. Good, good little time for him here. And pink attacks coming through. I don't know exactly what the plan is of state to be attacking Beastie. Ideally, I, I mean, the problem that he's going to have is that Beastie's just sitting uncontested right now. Beastie's villager lead continues to build. He's maxed out. 71 villagers. The most villagers in the game at the moment is Beastie. And look at the numbers. The Donzos together. Going to be looking to pick up a lot of villager kills here. All of the sofa have gone down and you can see how difficult it's starting to get for Louis. Louis looked like he was in a great spot. He was two TCs. He was Castle Age. He had the world at his feet. But look at Beastie. Beastie says, hey, wh where's your king? Uh, you, got, you got any kings around here? Beastie's still fighting it out in Feudal Age, though. He, that's the thing, right? He's happy to stick it in Feudal. Still playing it out quite heavily. Yet to farm transition. But expect to see it relatively soon. There's not a whole lot of food over here. Meanwhile. 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 
over in the base of Sass. We've got a, we've got an attack happening. Apologies to all of our colorblind friends out here. Orange on red's never a fun fight to watch. Part of the reason why we probably haven't touched on this fight too much over here. Battering Ram going to get repelled. A lot of melee units here. State wanted to go to Castle Age. It was like, hey man, I, I'm, I'm just, I want to go Culture Wing, Military Wing. I'm just going to get some relics. Maybe take a Sacred Title too. And then like, we can talk about it. And Lucifer's like, mm -mm -mm, we don't have room to talk about it. And yeah, he doesn't have room to talk about it. This is, this is not a good position right now. Beastie taking the corner and very happily with it. The numbers starting to build. And look at this. Louis saying, mm, I, you know, I kind of need some berries. Anybody, you got any of them berries? This is like, actually, we, we just sold out of berries. Uh, I, I do have some walls for you, though. Would, can I interest you in a wall or two? He has to do the full gauntlet now. Running all the way around. He's completely walled out. So these villagers now start migrating towards the south side. Could get picked up here by Divine's units. He spots them. Immediately returns back. And now Sass in trouble. Cap doing a great job of just running over the top of him. Khan nice and safe. Numbers building up though for state. On honestly, if, if I'm state and loose front, I'd be like, hey guys, uh, let's, um, you know, I, I just kind of realized like Beastie has been sitting, he's, he's been chilling out for a bit and um, he, he's probably pretty big right now. Sacred Sight's getting taken all around the clock though. Cap in the middle of the map over on the west side. We also see a Sacred Sight getting taken here by Averly. Both of the Mongol players, no real surprise there. A Civ that is always going to be looking for those Sacred Sights early on. Now, a bit of a counter-attack coming out from Sass. There are plenty of units in, in the base of Sass, and we can see them just moving over the map. Sass sitting on 52 vills. Not a whole lot of military, though. The big battle. Still yet to unfold as the battering rams. Getting caught out. Beastie on the backside. Could be looking for a, a king or two. Cleans up a lot of villagers here. A lot of villager kills coming in for Beastie. He's having a, a beautiful game here. Battering Ram comes through. Starts to work on that town center. Lucifron in trouble. State could be looking. He could be looking for an age up. Look at look at all the sacred sites starting to get taken in as well. Gets, Unfortunately, Cap does lose the uh, position in the center to Beastie. Sacred sites are here. And walls have come up for him as well. Spot continues to increase. He's, ha he's having a blast of a game, isn't he? I mean, how, how do you deal with a threat like this? There's always the option for a snipe. When it comes to his king, king is safe inside the landmark town center. Now that push coming on. More attacks. Louis MT in a little bit of trouble. King is inside the TC. I didn't expect this. I thought Divine was was definitely going to be the one that was uh, was not in the best spot. Beastie, though, brings in the additional Rams. Lucifron might be in trouble here. We've got two players that could be going down at the same time. Now, remember, we do have first blood here on the line. Beastie not looking to commit to it. A lot of spears here. Instead of focusing down the town center, like his enemy is doing. And Louis just sitting here goes, well, I don't really know what to do. I've lost all my units. Villagers are, are going to be here. And Beastie's got 2,600 health left on the TC. Less than 1,000 on Louis. Villagers going to try and repair. No wood for Louis. The king's on the ground. The king is on the ground. He's got nothing in the bank. And the king going to be going down here. Louis tries to keep the king alive a little bit. At the same time, towards the south side, we got two kings on the ground at the same time. Beastie going to be looking for the first kill. He gets the king. He takes out Lucifron. And then in the north, where's, where's the other king still alive? The king is still alive. He lives somehow. 225 health. He's fighting against all, all of the Donzos with the king. Louis MT. <laughs> he keeps it alive, the madman. Look at him. He says, you want it? You're going to have to work for it, mate. The king gets out. He moves on to greener pastures. He says, you know what? I've, I've heard that there's some kangaroos down south. I'm going to go inspect them. Donzo, together with the sofa, though, looking to try and cause a bit of havoc here. He's trying to loop back around. The villagers are working to stake down the battering ram. That's not the threat here. The main threat is going to be that king getting taken out by the units, but I think he's tapping it out right now when Divine assassinates Louis. Two down in very quick succession, and we've got a problem on our hands. There is a French player on the loose with a big mass of knights right now starting to roam across this map. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I turn on... Make sure I get this chat correct. Let me fix that one up for you guys. There we go. 
I tell you what, man, I'm, I'm starting to notice it, but all of my dudes that are giving me like the chat, they get eliminated first. And that's kind of why. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, def oh I, I missed it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Divine, Averly killed Divine. I'm so sorry. I was fixing up the chat. Here I am thinking that, bro, who is our observer? We are not paying them enough because they're doing a terrible job. Oh, I can't believe it. Vodka. How, how could you miss something like that, Vodka? It's not Vodka. It's somebody else. I don't want, I don't want to say who it is for fear of, uh, for fear of the community backlash. Averly starting to build up a pretty big force here. Horseman numbers building. Very quickly, we've gone from eight down to five players. Over on that west side, though. Sass is building. Beastie looking for another king. Whether he's going to find it, though, that's a different matter. King's inside the town center. Phalanx is through. If there's anybody right now that you don't want to be attacking, it's the Abbasid player. you got Phalanx spears. The prospect of camels as well, reducing the attack of your knights. Beastie ages up. He goes for the veteran royal knights. He's got the guild hall, and it's on stone. Beastie knows what he's doing. Beastie knows what he's doing. Not going for any royal institute shenanigans today. He's gone for three TCs. He says, you know what? If there's one commodity in this game mode, it's stone. And I'm, I've got a way to get infinite stone. He's taking trouble. Beastie looking to loop back around. He's managed to elude a lot of spears here. At the same time towards the center of the map. The horsemen are still on the hunt, on the prowl. And once again, looks like Cap going to be going for that same position. Battering Rams looking to take down the town center here. A lot of knights. State trying his best to hold on for dear life. And I, th I think we're going to have to get rid of the in-game chat. There we go. In-game chat has, has been removed. There you go. There you go. Apologies. I'm a little bit distracted at the moment. So we, there will no longer be in-game chat. And now BC, the, the king's on the ground. The king is on the ground. I saw it for a little bit of time. King jumps back inside. Beastie looking for a, an early second kill at the same time counterattack over on the west side. Averly looking to try and push through. Beastie just takes out state. We didn't even get to see it. He, he popped the king out before the town center was going to lose. Lose its health. And Beastie just takes him out. Four players. And we've got a problem. One player sits on the east side of the map all alone. Ah, I can't believe we missed two in a row. Two in a row. Vodka. It's not vodka. It's me, guys. It's me. I, I, I'm the one here. Oh, man. And it's, it's ha both times it's happened, I've been, like, fixing something on the overlay. Man, I wish I could automate that. I wish I had a button that I could just press and be like, bam, fixed. But unfortunately, it's not. And I can't help but feel like you know, there's, there's a part of me that d just hates the fact that we don't get chat in in our live games like this. How nice would it be to have the chat coming up on the screen? If you've ever watched Age of Empires 2, like, uh, watch a T90 video, it's so nice. The chat comes up down here. You can see that, you know, corner boy is chatting to so-and-so in the corner. It's it's like, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's fully integrated. But I, look, I understand. I appreciate it. You know, you spend $44 million on a AAA title, chat in a in a... In a in a replay of a competitive esports tournament, it's probably like a, you know, that, that's that's a 2028 problem. That's not a 2022 problem. I get it. I get it. All right. <laughs> well, let's let's focus a little bit more on the game at hand, because the horseman numbers are starting to build. Now, remember, Averly's already got a kill in the bag. He's taken out uh, a, a little guy up towards the north side. You may remember as Divine. The beastie going to be looking for Imperial Age soon. And probably going to be going for a red palace. I would suspect goes for a red palace in the corner. That's 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 where I'd be going for it. Nope, he's decided I'm going to do red palace with stables around it. Interesting choice. Normally you look to see players just keep a, a little bit more safety. So I guess Beastie's going for a very safe outer shell, but we don't see that inner shell being built just yet. Where are his units, by the way? Just a lot of knights on the south side. He's up to 42 knights. Just kind of chilling out for the moment. Captures his own sacred side in the base. Finally, comes around to it. And now everybody just, uh, just chilling for the moment. I say just chilling as the veteran spearmen make their way across. Outpost trying to come down. A lot of lances, a lot of spears. Cancels the outpost immediately, evacuates the villagers out. And Cal, 
Really looking to put on the pressure here. Appreciating the fact that there is a runaway on the east side of the map. Now, this is a point where players can actually call out Beastie and say, Hey guys, uh, Beastie is a real threat right now. He's playing the French. He's already killed two people. He's got up, up that 300 max population. We need to work together to take him out. That is absolutely fine. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see it. We're not going to be able to see that because we don't have access to chat. Um, but if we did have access to chat, we would be able to see that. But but, but we don't. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Beastie completely stonewalled in. I, I think this is all going to be connecting here. So I don't think there's any sneaky little way you can get through. Horsemen are going to try on the edge of the map together with the calm, but they're just going to run into stone walls. And of course, that means that there's not a whole much more you can do over there. And fight over towards the west side. Looks like it never really eventuated. You can see that Averly is intent on taking out Beastie or at least doing some damage to him. You can see that obelisk. Obelisk firing off. Remember that when you do build that red palace, every other town center gets an obelisk attack. It does a lot of damage and it fires really quickly. Big horseman numbers now coming through. Beastie in a little bit of trouble here. This is a, a really strong gold for him here. 182 villagers at the moment. Down towards the south side, sacred site. Gonna be taken and Beastie looking to cause some havoc over on the, on the west side of the map. Towards the top side. More sacred sites getting picked up. Averly realizing that the threat here is not these two guys to the south. It's Beastie. The question is going to be whether they look to try and take each other out. Or whether they look to focus down the favorite for this game. Now remember, he's got a lot of other things working for him as well. He's got that guild hall in the bank. Sitting on 2,000 stone for the moment. Light numbers continuing to build here. Can, can be looking for... Could potentially be looking for a snipe here. Knight's heading towards this location. King at the moment sitting in the main town center. And you can see Averly doing the right thing. Heading straight into Bombard Outposts. Cannon emplacements rather. Looking to king the, keep the king safe. This is how, how you've got to do it with, with Mongols, unfortunately. And it kind of sucks because you don't have access to the keep. Now, we've, we've seen Beastie go for wonders before. There was a game where Beastie famously went for a wonder against six people. I'm not going to spoil that game for you, but uh, it didn't end well for the six people. It ended well for Beastie. That's kind of a spoiler. But now Beastie looking to try and come through. Spots the king out in the town center. Looks to surround plenty of the spears here. They've got their elite upgrades through. Elite army tactics not yet in. Keep in mind, he's going to be able to reinforce this position. A lot of resources in the bank. He's 246, and Beastie falls back. Realizing, you know what? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I can do it. Anything in there. Up towards the north. Averly now looking to work in on those siege workshops. Averly really looking to put the herd on Beastie now. It's a 1v1 on the top side of the map. And we can see that Sass and Kaup, they've, they've been fighting since the beginning of the game. Still look to fight it out. Sacred Sight taken back by Beastie. First layer of walls. Well, it's rather non-existent at the moment, but it'll be in soon. A single villager's got a big task ahead of him. Knight's going to be able to repel the horsemen for the moment. Chase them away. They've got that Yam network bonus, remember. So these guys are extra fast. Going to be able to catch knights on their way out. It's got plenty of line of sight as well. Averly doing a really good job to build. You know, honestly, I got to give it to Averly. He's got a really good solid understanding of free-for-all. Like he knows exactly what to do in free-for-alls. I think he, he, he's probably one of the best free-for-all players that there are. He, did, he, he knows exactly what to do at the right time. He knows like, okay, now I need to be building line of sight. He's done that. He's established line of sight. He knows what he needs to do on the defensive here. See Horseman coming through. He's going to be finding villagers on the gold. Looking to try and keep those resources of Beastie down. Now, when it comes to stone, Beastie sitting on... He's taken out the stone. He actually took out 2,000 stone. He's back up to 400 stone now. 
Ideally, you want to you you don't want to be taking that out until you have to. Oh, apologies. Big attack. Big attack over on that west side. We managed to catch a fair bit of it, though. It's orange up against red. Difficult to discern exactly what's happening. Veteran Royal Knights for Sass. Sass is an Imperial Age and still not yet through with Elite Knights. Abolitria yet to get their Elite upgrades as well. Spears are fully upgraded, though, on the side of Kalp. Towards that south side. More horsemen running through. Going to be running a route back towards the gold vein. Now, let's do a quick king check. First king for Kalp. Nice and safe here. Yet to put through cannon emplacements on all these outposts. But is working towards it. On the west side, king check. Red Palace. He's got a pretty solid outer shell. But not a good inner, inner shell. Should be building a stone wall around this keep just in case. Attack over on this west side though. A lot of spears. And up towards the north side. Battering ram numbers continue to build. Able to force back with only spears. Now remember, Arbor Latre do very well against spears. Nine armor. Nine melee armor up against the spear, which has got... I mean, it's got 17 damage. It's, it's a fair bit of damage still. And down on that south side, Beastie really looking to expand into the base of state. Let's see exactly how much damage Avery can do here. Remember that Avery does have the raid bounty that he's looking to continue growing. Spears able to force back this French army. Still no upgrade coming through by Sass just yet. Both of these players are 200 population. Remember that. No additional kills just yet. Battering Rams working through. And Averly picking up a lot of stone in this late game. Remember, he's going to be insulating that town center, keeping that king protected. And this is a bit of a problem for Sass at this point. Horseman still making moves. Where's the army for Beastie? He's got 59 knights at the moment. And there they are. A lot of horsemen as well. Now, remember that you can actually take out dead players' buildings, and I'm pretty sure you get the bounty. Let's see if that's what he looks to do here. So, he looks to try and take out these buildings. Once, they, once they're on fire, he'll be able to siege them down and, and grab that extra bounty. Managing to push back. The elite upgrade's finally coming through now. And up towards the north side. Beastie going to be able to push out with knights now. Keep in mind, he's got 300 population. Fighting up against 250 of Averly. Averly with a lot of resources in the bank, though. More than enough to drop a wonder if he wanted to. He's got a lot of passive resources trickling in. The double sacred site. Plenty of relics as well. Sitting on five relics, Averly is. Beastie only on the two relics. Kalp on the south side of the map does have four. So I'm pretty sure all nine relics are held. Rather, all 11 relics are held. Let's fix that number up a little bit. And Beastie manages to find all this forward base and clean it out. Not a whole lot of line of sight up here. He'll be looking to extend that, though. On the south side. Plenty of forces still out. And a real back and forth fight between these two players. I should say these two sets of players. It's another case where you've got the 1v1 on one side and the 1v1 on the other side. I'm impressed that Averly's holding on this well, though. He's at 150 villager population, which is pretty damn decent when you think about it. Beastie's on 195. So he's got about a 50 vill advantage over his opponent. Upgrade starting to come through for Beastie. He's up to 2,000 stone now in the bag on that guild hall. Look at the resources for Beastie as well. He's starting to climb. Averly actually with more resources though. Big bush now coming on that south side. Sass maxed out. A lot of low value units though. He's got archers in here. Got their veterancy through. Compare that to Averly and he's just basically 100% spears. About 80% really. And now a little bit of a counter attack down towards the south side. Actually, I, apologies. I was comparing Averly when I should have been comparing Cap. Cap 42 spears. Pretty big battle at the moment. Night numbers looking solid. He's got the reinforcements to help work him. Keep in mind, he's getting the, that reduced cost on the knights. 
Let's remove this one for you. Here we go. Boom. There you go. Uh, so that's not going to show in-game chat. I should probably remove that as well. There you go. Cinematic mode. Now I'm going to get... Now I'm just going to get the questions in the Twitch chat like, uh, what's cinematic mode mean? Don't worry, guys. Just ignore it. And look at the walls coming up for Beastie now. Continuing to extend out these walls. Oh, God. Look what's happening. The boiling oil gauntlet is being created by Beastie. A guaranteed way to keep that king safe. Push gets neutralized. And towards the north side, Beastie now going to be looking on the hunt. Seeing if he can spot out any king. King nice and safe for the moment. There's a part of me that thinks like may maybe he could have looked to have put this town center along the back wall. But maybe it opens up the avenue for more attacks, but it also opens up the avenues for more defense as well. And we can see he's moving out production buildings and replacing them with outposts. So he could look to try and keep this king alive pretty successfully through here. Bit of a chop through coming in on this wood line though. Sass going to have a bit of a hole opened up. And those elite spears repelling the cavalry in the north. Then at arms here as well. No elite upgrades just yet. Hardened spearmen here. And Beastie just pushing through. Look at this. Vil's moving up. He's trying to secure as, as much information as he can. More and more outposts getting thrown down by Averly. He knows exactly what to do. Huge force. Now pushing up. Finding Beastie's army. Keep in mind, he's got that yam network. Going to be able to chase Beastie out of here. Go on. Get on out. And a bit of a stalemate, honestly, between these two players. Over on the east side. More and more keeps starting to come up. He's always got the option to just delete this and throw a wonder down. You never really want to have to delete a keep. But it does happen. Big attack coming through from Kalp. Quintessential Kalp play. Rams. 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 Rams everywhere. You have to pick up a lot of the upgrades on them, though. I suspect he's still got the, 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 uh, the beams upgrade has come through. Finds the siege workshops in the north. Takes them out. And Rams are starting to take over this late game. Mongols versus French on one side. French versus Mongols on the other side. Beastie might now be looking for a kill. Begins to make his way through. Remember, avery has got the defender's advantage here. Bombard's firing down on a single knight. Beastie might be realizing, oh, I don't think I can take that out. Let's see if he's able to go for it. Down towards the south, that push still happening. Looks like it's probably going to get cleaned up. Instead, just going to start focusing down barracks. Curious decision. Looks to work for the siege workshops instead. You can see how quickly these units with the yam network speed come in after. Did somebody order a tower defense? Because we've got one for you. This is the king of tower defenses right now. Beastie Cutie is playing tower defense against... Averly. The south push has been stalled out as well. Villagers gathering up the stealth forest. It's, it's, you know, it's not much, but it's honest work. And there's a part of me that thinks this actually looks pretty difficult for Beastie. I mean, Beastie's trying his best to think about, or to think outside the box. And I don't think there's any world where he really looks to go for a wonder. I mean, he could probably go for a wonder here. Actually... Could he go for a wonder? If I, if I was in Beastie's position, I probably wouldn't go for a wonder yet. But he'd be thinking about it. King not yet safe inside these keeps. I think he's just going to be sitting in the Red Palace for now. You know what? You could probably just leave him in the Red Palace. He's got Court Architects through. There's a lot of health on that. You can always pull Vils to try and keep it safe. And he's got plenty of farms around it as well. So he can repair that plenty throughout the game. And Beastie gets completely re repelled back now. So he's tried to make some moves. Hasn't found much success. There's a lot of resources down to the south. And perhaps that's where the next frontier of battles comes through. Now I've seen Beastie play the French before. On the defensive. In a free-for-all. In the game that he played it, his guild hall was approaching close to 20,000 stone when he cashed out. He's sitting on 5,000 stone at the moment. Now, a lot of people might look at that and think, that's not that much stone. How many keeps is that, though? 
If you're paying 800 for each keep, you're talking about seven keeps. Each keep has got boiling oil. The ability to get in placements as well. There's a lot that you gain from those keeps. So he could look to try and go that route. Big counterattack now on the south side though. Hand cannoneers together with crossbows. Spears on the front line. Pushing towards the keep. Look how fast those battering rams move. All the upgrades starting to stack it up. And Beastie with the boiling oil on this keep. It's going to start working now. Look how much damage it does to all of these units in here. Spears running out though. We'll be able to find him. Remember they've got that yam network speed buff. Mango's in the back firing off. Sass might be in trouble. Oh, Sass is in trouble. He's down to 160 pop. He's bleeding resources. Less than a thousand, a thousand gold in the bank. Over on that east side, Beastie loses out the keep. Gets chased back. The Spearman spam is actually popping off right now. Manages to clean up all of the units over on this top side, but there's going to be more where that came from. And Averly sitting very comfy right now. Beautiful amount of resources in the bank. He can just constantly fill out Spearman after Spearman after Spearman spam. And you can see them rallying in. Also got the battering rams as well. Just in case. Having an absolute blast of a time here. Trying his best to hold on. And now the game starts to enter that position where you, 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 you worry a little bit for Sass here. He's managed to fill out that economy a little bit more. But the rolling siege coming out from his opponent is really looking to rampage him down. Middle of the map. Spears just casually chasing down Royal Knights. Look at the look at the speed on these guys. They're getting look at them, they're getting tags off. Beastie gonna try and find a way through. I don't think he's gonna be able to do too much in there. Needs to, needs to drop some battering rams here. Remember these battering rams build so fast for the Mongols. With the upgraded light beams, it's like a 75% reduction in time. I think it's, sorry, the improved light beams. Towards the top side. Beastie's still under attack. Losing out all three of these siege workshops shortly. And Beastie definitely on, on the defensive here. You can feel that he seems a little bit clueless as to where he should go, what he should do, but I think he may have found the answer. Randy's on the field, ladies and gentlemen. I can, I can feel everybody applauding the arrival of Randy's. We've seen it time and time again. B, the Muslim. Both love getting the Rebaldequins out. Push over on the east, on the west side. Wouldn't necessarily say it's stalled out. It's got plenty of wood, beastie still. Sitting on 500 wood for the moment. Did he cash out his stone? I think he may have and switched it over to wood. No, not yet. 7,000 stone. Still spears moving around. You can definitely feel right now, Averly. Is that, is that? No, it's not. I thought the king was on the move. But you can definitely feel the desire for more population for Averly. Like, he is sitting maxed out so often. 98 spears. Beastie expanding to a very central location. Bombard emplacement coming through. Cap taking full advantage of that Mongol adv of that Mongol advantage. Remember that the Mongols don't pay full price for their or they they rather they don't pay double the price for their cannon emplacements. It's just 375. Whereas everybody else has to pay double, 750. BC now starting to push out a couple of cannons here. Definitely a nice push he's got building. Oh my lord, look at the Reboldequins. He's up to eight Reboldequins now. 198 vils still for Beastie. Sacred Site in the north being challenged. Villagers getting chased back. The knight's going to be able to clear it out though. And that push on the south side. Slowly but steadily, he's making ground. Sass trying to keep his head above water. Once again, I mean, Avery's doing a really good job of just keeping Beastie under wraps. 
Like, th there was a part of me that thought Beastie was just going to steamroll over the top of Averley. And perhaps that is this moment right now. But before this... I thought there's there's no way Averley can hold on against Beastie. But look at the resources that Averley's sitting on right now. 34k food, 16k wood, 19k gold. He's got enough to drop down a wonder and still replace his army three times over. I suspect he's not going to be looking for a wonder though, at least not at this point in the game. Manages to clean up that little proxy in the north. Beautiful outpost spam coming through from him as well. Just building line of sight in every direction. Just collecting so many resources. His army's producing a lot of resources here. Spears looking to make their way through. Bit of a distraction, potentially. Beastie could look for a kill, a, a king snipe here. Could be an option. There's a lot of... Look at the bombard emplacements, though. The cannon emplacements. If they've got these little red flags, they've got cannons on them. So there's only one missing them. Push in on the south side. Getting stalled out on the keep. Guild Hall, 550 gold in it at the moment. We'll check in with beasties. 9,000 stone. He can make keeps for days. Don't be surprised if he just takes it all out, makes a wonder, and throws a whole bunch of keeps around it as well. Spearman doing a really decent job here. Reboldequin's going to be coming out for both of these players. And Beastie looking to push it on the top side now. A lot of knights, a lot of Reboldequin. Three bombards. He's going to slowly but steadily work down the production first. Upgrades coming through for Beastie. Picks off the cannons. Town center still quite a way off. Needs to come back. Averly looking to try and make his way back towards it. Still that stalemate on the south is happening. Feels like Kalp is building towards Sass though. He's got to be careful with the cannon in place, but the ram's going to be running in here. Reinforcements on the front line. Keep going to get thrown down by Beastie. He's looking to make it all come together. Rams get deleted. He says, you know what? It was all a fake out. He actually... Did he cancel the keep? Did be What happened right there? Did he can... Where are the Vils? There is a villager in there. Oh, the Vils went back. I think... I, I, I've got... I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there. Where are the spears, though? There's got to be some speary boys in. There's the spears. Springwood's coming up. They've got that 13 tiles of range. Oh, my lord. 13 tiles of range. Can you ask for anything more? I mean, you could probably ask for 14 tiles of range. Reboldequins. They're firing blanks at the moment. Just like my dad. Hey, dad, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I, want, I wonder how many people get that joke. Firing, I guess firing blanks is like probably pretty well, well known right now. <laughs> Marine Lord definitely wouldn't get it. He'd be like, I don't get it. I don't get bounty. What do I do? It's all right, Marine Lord. One day you'll get it. <laughs> Marine Lord in the chat just throwing out question marks. Poor guy. <laughs> Sprinkled numbers are, are building, though. He's up to three Sprinkles for the moment. Spearman numbers are huge at this point. Sprinkles firing off. Managing to hit off the enemy once. Outnumbered though, outgunned. The cannons move in. He's going to be able to find the shots. Loses it. Only a single Springled remains. He's got to watch out for those Reboldequins. Remember, they've got a lot of health on them. Big push still coming on the south side. Lots of Springleds coming out for Kalp as well. And Beastie starts to push in. Reboldequins. Looking to cause a bit of a mess in the base now of Averly. Averly might be in trouble. He's got a lot of resources in the bank. Less than 10k wood remains for him though. Beastie's starting to stack up food, though. Up to 54k food. Reboldequin moving forward. Excuse me, Reboldequin. Uh, you you are a little bit too far forward here. We're going to have to get you to sit back a bit. They do go down. Beastie throws down the siege workshops on the front line. I love the battering ram just coming in from the back, just in case. Just to help out. Sprinkled numbers building, though. 14 Sprinkleds in queue for Averly. Attacks happening all over the map now. A lot of cannon emplacements. Sprinkled emplacements. And Sass is... Sass is... Sass is starting to lose a little bit of ground over here. The keep has gone down. 
Cap is grinding him out. He's maxed out 200 population. He's down 20. And finally, that front forward keep going to be thrown down. This is where it becomes so difficult against the Mongols to fight against them. That 13 range makes such a big difference. 13 range against 12, is it's, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Let's see. He's going to move forward for the shots. Takes out the first Springle. Doesn't actually find it. Doesn't have that extra health. Actually, no, he does have that extra health. Spears moving forward. Got to be careful of the Reboldequins. It's such a delicate dance. No Springles. Needs needs more Siege. Honestly, at this point, throw, an uv throw all of these on, a, on an Uvu. I want double production Springles right now. The Springles are what keep you alive. And the Spears move out. Reboldequins on the back line. He's looking to try and get us around. Manages to find it, but the Reboldequins are here. Randy, release the demons. And down they go. A lot of spears on the front line being taken out, but look at the surround. The absolute king of surrounds right there. Averly just cleaning up this attack. Not a chance from Beastie. Yeah, you brought Reboldequins, but you came to the wrong party, my friend. This is a party for spears. And if you ain't got a spear, you ain't here. Meanwhile, on that south side, the push is still happening. Kaup cleaning up Sass. Assassinates! Sass, excuse me? Dude, wh how do I miss this? Where is the king? And why is he not in the, the red palace? Where? Where was the king? Dude, how do we miss three in one game? Why is your king not in the red palace? And then there were three. Beastie gonna be looking for a wonder any second. There, uh, there. <laughs> Never mind, he's already thrown down the one and Beastie immediately throws down Notre Dame. 55 villagers on it. He says, bring it on, boys. Let's go. And immediately... Man, we, we, gotta, we gotta get a new observer in. I'm sorry, we need a new observer. This, this guy is terrible. Legally blind, that is for sure. So Beastie's done a pretty decent job of just grinding down Averly's numbers. And now he's on the defense. Beastie going to be looking for a solid one to defense here. Notre Dame is up. And Beastie throws down plenty of walls. The king is in the back. Red Palace is here to defend as well. Now remember, even if you take down the Notre Dame, Beastie doesn't die. It's not just about taking out Notre Dame. It's about killing Beastie as well. And at this point, this is where Beastie can say, all right, I'm actually just going to delete my vills. I'm just going to make a, a thousand units. I mean, not really a thousand. Ten siege workshops moving forward. With Kaup. On the move. Two Mongols players. From the very beginning of the game. Let all the Mongol doubters know. Let all the Mongols know. Well, let, let all the doubters know that Mongols is actually a civilization. It's not terrible. It seemed to do pretty well this game so far. Royal Knight's going to be able to clean up a lot of this attack before it comes through. Beastie with 14 minutes remaining. Less than 14 minutes to go, actually. So Knight's cutting off. I would almost say reinforcements, but it's not even really reinforcements. It's more like enforcements. Battering Rams will go down here as well. A lot of units thrown back. I'd love to see all these barracks move forward towards the north of the map. Averly picking it up. And there we go. Now that forward production coming through for Averly as well. These guys will be communicating to each other saying, hey, all right, you know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Outpost get thrown down. Oh, Beastie's hit the stone button. He surely hit the stone button. 8,000 stone in the bank at the moment. Let's take a look and see if we can find that guild hall. There it is. Oh, he hasn't hit the button. Oh no, he has. 13,660 stone per minute. It's a, it's, it's a small loan from Beastie's father. Uh, that, that's how he made his millions, though. Knights. Big counterattack here. No no vill deleting just yet. Uh, but, but Beastie going to struggle to spend that much. No additional walls getting thrown down. I suspect there may be some additional keeps getting thrown. I suspect there might be a keep or, or, a, a keep or two that get thrown down here. One keep, two keeps, three keeps, four keeps, five keeps, six keeps, seven keeps, eight keeps. I think they might... No, that's, that's it. Just, just eight. 
Maybe he's waiting for, like, cannon emplacements as well. So Beastie, in defending his wonder, makes an entire wall of keeps. I mean, you've, you've heard of, like, a... There's a wall of spears. You've heard of a wall of knights. But have you heard of a wall of keeps? I mean, technically, it doesn't, it's not really a wall. Because you can still kind of get through it. Towards that top side now. Numbers really building up for, for Cap. He's up to 10 Springwoods. And you can't help but feel a bit of an overreaction from a life once lived. Two Bombards should be more than enough to break through this. Problem that he's going to have is that... Uh, oh my god. Okay. Assemble the CG cutie, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. The Mangonels are here. He's up to 16 Mangonels. Cannon emplacements coming through as well. Knight's getting repelled. Th this is why... I mean, th this is the Outback Octagon right now for these Mangonels. This is what Octagon is all about. They got their RGB on as well. Big shots over the top side. Spears just getting completely eaten alive. Down towards the south side. Big push coming through. A lot of units now looking to try and chase this out. Cap needs to move closer. You can see it's a little bit of a delay. Five minutes to go and Beastie pushing out with a lot of men at arms here. Mangadel's just going to be falling back towards a safer position. Oh god. There's not just one wall of keeps. A second wall of keeps has emerged. The keeps keep coming. I feel like we're watching a, sma a Smash Mouth video right now. They just keep on coming. There are so many keeps, it's absurd. Emplacements coming through on all the outposts. Beastie is playing truly the tower defense mode right now. New game mode unlocked. Tower defense. Mangonels pushing forward. Looking to need to try and take out. Need to hit the Stonewall gate. Men at arms going to be able to hold the line for the moment. Big mango shots though. Oh, big mango shots raining down on the Black Parade right now. Towards the center of the map. He's pushing out into enemy production. Knight's getting ripped apart. And you can hear the units just being created as we ride on board with Beastie. He's taken out another 60 vils, deleted them. More men at arms joining the fray. 16 mangonels in the showers. At Mangonel Ranch. Better arms chasing away. All of these battering rams. This is really where you need to br bring that production up. You can't be using your production at home for an attack like this. It gets eviscerated. Then you've got to move on to the next thing. 13 Springles. Definitely the right number of Springles. The problem that you're going to have is... Springles don't do particular... Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. He made a wall of keeps. Not to mention the wall of mangonels. Men at arms just cleaning up down on the south side. I think he's worked out the balance. He says, I can't make knights. If I make knights, I will run out of gold. But I can make men at arms. They will be fine. Big mango shots over the walls. Springles can't do anything here. More mango shots looking to hit those. Spearmen. And th th there's, there's no way through. There's no way through at this point. We got, we got eight minutes in. And neither of these players look like they've made any headway against the beast. So how do you beat this? What do you do against this? Number one is you gotta, you got to bring that production forward. That's the first rule. Bring the production forward. Take, take all of the production that you've got back here. And bring it to the front. That's the first step. Second step. 
You need something to deal with buildings. Whether that's rams, whether that's bombards. But you need that. And then third thing is you just want to coordinate. You want to flood at the same time. You want to make sure you're hitting the enemy at the same time as your allies hitting the enemy. But the men-at-arms are just so strong here. Continuing to... I mean, th th this push is being completely shut down just by 10 men-at-arms. Battering rams are breaking through, though. A lot of units. Cannon emplacements firing down upon them. Man goes over the wall. Looking to try and block. Look at the blocks coming through from Kalp here. Kalp says, I'm not going to let you through. I've got my battering rams. Mangadels will find a way. There is an entry up towards the top side. Could be Mango on Mango. Indeed it is. Mango on Mango action. Hand Cannon is going to back off from this position. Beastie looking to chase away the enemy. Mango's firing down on the horsemen. Still a couple of them make it through. And now over from the east side, more men at arms coming in to clean up. He's trying to keep himself above, his head above water. But at the end of the day, the horsemen make it through onto the mangonels on the back line. Beastie still sits with 19 mangonels safely behind the stone walls. Towards the center. Looks like Beastie did get cleaned up. Averly going to be making an attempt to push in. Triple Bombard. I mean, realistically, the best bet you could go is maybe over on the edges. Obviously, we're omnipotent. Omnipotent? Yeah, I guess omnipotent. I mean, we, we, we can see everything, right? You can kind of make a run down like that towards the, the edge. There's only one keep to go through. Compared to, say, one, two, three, four, five, six keeps. Or... If you prefer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten keeps. Is it really ten? It, it's nine. I miscounted. It's not pretty. Well, it looks like he may have got the memo. Battering rams on the top side. Cannons break through the middle. Now remember, each one of these keeps is going to have that extra obelisk attack. And Beastie just overwhelming on the south side. Some Trebs were trying to make it out. He's literally pushing out of the base. And Mangadel's just cycling between these two players. Averly pushes from the north. Cap from the south. The Mangadels are what make this defense possible for Beastie. And obviously also the ludicrous amounts of keeps. Big Mango shots. Looking to try and utilize this stone wall. Men at arms looking to surround. Men at arms looking to come around. He gets onto the back line now. All of this siege goes down. Looks like the push has been cleaned up on the south side, though. Big army coming through from Kalp here. Beastie in a solid position. And it all comes back to the start. I want to take you back to the very first minute of this game. Where Beastie sat uncontested on the east corner of the map. He had two neighbors. Lucifron and State, which fought against each other. And he came in and cleaned them both up. Meanwhile, on the top side, Louis MT fought against Divine. They distracted each other, and it meant that Beastie, he boomed for free. And now, the fruits of his labor are finally paying off. The men at our mango defense. A composition we've not seen in quite some time. I guess we, should, we should probably should mention there's also the keep defense. I mean, at this point, Beastie has built a literal entire row of keeps. Managing now to deal with the rams on the top side. Upgrades have come through. Elite lances now. The re-wall happens. The villagers immediately gets thrown down, though. Lances break through. So it looks like Kalpi is going to be pushing that agenda on the top side. And Kalp trying to run a couple of trebs up to the top of the hill. Even if they make it up there, he's got... I mean, you'd need a hui hui pao to reach him. And we got three minutes until Wonder Victory. This Wonder was made 12 minutes ago. And Beastie just gets the rewall in. Mango's still firing off. Look at the range on those mangonels. And now I'm going to be moving back towards that central location. The push still comes through. Units sieging down the lumber camps, but... I mean, in the scheme of things, it doesn't really mean much, does it? Not when you've got this many keeps to work through. 
Beastie with 16k food in the bank. Still 3k gold. Let's check in with his guild hall. Where's the guild hall? Looks like he's taken out some more stone. About 500. Not too long ago. He'll be able to use that to repair any buildings that he needs to. I mean, but at this point, they haven't even broken through the first line of defense, which is the keeps. The first, the first keep is now under pressure, but you got two minutes until Wonder Victory happens. And it doesn't even look like Beastie's defense is close to going down here. Men at arms together with the horsemen managed to clean up all that push. It's 500 population against 300. Now, granted, there's about 1,700 population in keeps here. Take a look at this. We got a whole bunch of keeps under pressure from the battering rams. Bombard's in the back. A lot of melee units now coming in for the beast. Looking to defend. Counterattack on the south side. Rewall's coming through for Beastie. Look at this. He says, no, sorry, Bob. Not going to happen. Men at arms together with the horsemen. Very cognizant of a counterattack coming in. Beastie sits on his 20 mangadels and says, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of fine here for the moment. He's got more mangoes at the top side. Micromanaging the mangoes like a madman. Men at arms obliterating the enemy position as one minute to go. And surely at this point, it seems that like there is no other outcome than a victory for Beastie Cutie. It all started with a beautiful spawn. Three town centers into a night spam, a castle age, an imperial age, a guild hall, and a dream. Beastie Cutie, he put down the red palace, completed the Notre Dame, and secured a beautiful victory today. And of course, how could we forget? He built an entire wall out of keeps. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure casting this Outback Octagon game with you. The trebuchet numbers, they're looking good. You got 16 trebuchets right there, Cal, but unfortunately, you got less than six seconds to do it. And we can see he's actually, Averly was going for a snipe right at the end, but it looks like he's gonna come up short. And Beastie Cutie goes home with the victory. And of course, all the points for taking out his enemies. Incredible game right there from Beastie. A beautiful defense. Definitely a contender for the best wonder defense that we've ever seen. Let's take a look at the economic count. You can see he topped out towards the, the 200 mark. Ended up deleting a lot of ills towards that late game. In fact, all three players did. Really well played. In the end, the military count just kept on rising. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed this game. It went down to the wire at the end. Beastie comes out victorious. Of course, I'll be leaving links in the description to every single one of these players so you can watch them live over on Twitch. And of course, we'll catch you in the next one.